That's right, we're gonna be doing a mental health review of a channel that does philosophy reviews of shows like Rick and Morty. How meta is that? What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health and what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So I was watching uh, a Wisecrack video, which I actually saw a long time ago and it just popped into my mind again. And I wanted to kind of discuss it in the mental health aspect. But basically the video was, would you rather be a Rick or a Jerry? And that video was actually sponsored by BetterHelp. So those of you who don't know what BetterHelp is, BetterHelp is an online therapy platform. I use it, my beautiful girlfriend Tristan, she has used it. And I'm gonna be doing a full review of it pretty soon, probably before I go out of town this week. But anyways, if you're looking for affordable online therapy, like if you don't have insurance or it's just gonna be cheaper to use it, just go ahead and check out the link down below. It is an affiliate link, so what that means, it helps out the channel and you get some affordable online therapy. But anyways, in this video that Wisecrack did about um, would you rather be a Rick or a Jerry, they discuss like does intelligence equal depression, right? And by the way, those of you who don't know what Wisecrack is, my channel is somewhat inspired by Wisecrack. Wisecrack takes um, something that I'm very fascinated with, which is philosophy. And philosophy and mental health really tie in together because it helps just kind of like get your wheels turning and get maybe a new perspective on the world and our reality and all those things. So I absolutely love philosophy, but some old timey philosophy is pretty boring. So what Wisecrack does is they pull pop culture to try to teach people about philosophy. Kind of like what I do here where I take, you know, YouTubers or TV or movies or whatever it is, and I try to teach you about mental health. So this one in particular, they were talking about, would you rather be a Rick or a Jerry? Now, basically what they're talking about is Jerry is constantly happy, right? He's always happy and it's because of his ignorance or his idiocy, if you will, right? And then you have Rick, who is the smartest man in the universe, but he's depressed, right? He is depressed, there is no doubt about that. You know what I mean? So they try to, you know, talk about uh, philosophy and even, um, you know, psychology and things like that. Like, is this true? And they actually, like, did, um, they pulled a Mensa study. Mensa, for those of you who don't know, it's like this elite club where super smart people join it. Like, I think you need an IQ of 130 uh, or, uh, or above. And basically, like, one third of people in Mensa uh, out of the people surveyed, self-reported feeling depressed, right? And that is way above average for just regular people, right? Now, they do mention that this is self-reported. So during self-reported studies, that means that a person is just like, yeah, I feel depressed. Yeah, I feel anxious. You know what I mean? Like a doctor did not diagnose them. So it's important to kind of like set that record straight, right? But anyways, what they talk about in that video is that there was a psychologist who who actually did a study on this many, many years before, where he found that a lot of his colleagues who were very intelligent struggled with what he called hyperbrain, okay? So a lot of intelligent people, they have hyperbrain, like they are constantly looking at the world for like what it is and seeing all of the problems, whatever it may be, like the threat of nuclear war or global warm, warm eh, global warming, <laughs> or just like tragedy going on in, our country or different countries or whatever it is, they're constantly thinking about this. Whereas somebody with a lower IQ, they're not really worried about that stuff. They're just like, do, 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 right? And I wanted to talk about this because like, I think this popped into my mind because this is something that I could definitely relate to. And I want to talk to all of you about this as well because this is so, 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 so true for so many of us. And I just want to kind of share a little bit of how I got into the solution of it. So. For many years of my life, I was extremely angry, I was extremely depressed, and I blamed a lot of it on, you know, my intelligence, if you will. And like, part of my depression, I don't know if you can relate to this, maybe so I don't feel insane and alone, leave a comment down below if you've struggled with this as well, but I remember looking at people, I'm just like, how can you be so happy? Do you not understand how terrible this world and its people are? What is wrong with you people, right? Like, I looked at people who were happy, as just like dumb or ignorant, or they just didn't know any better. Like they clearly didn't see the world for what it was. They're just walking around with these rose colored goggles and I wish I, I could do that. But 
I couldn't because I knew how much pain and suffering is actually in this world, partially because I had a traumatic childhood. You know what I mean? So I, I constantly thought about this. And as I got older, when I started to turn to drugs and alcohol, like I often looked at other people. I'm like, oh my God, like I needed, I needed substances to just quiet this thing down because I was constantly thinking about problem after problem after problem. By the way, this is something very common in people who have anxiety. Now you can use that to a benefit because people with uh, anxiety, they've done studies, and many of them are natural problem solvers, right? Because people with anxiety, they're able to spot problems faster than anybody else. I forgot what the exact timing was, but it's like, like, like I don't know, almost a full second before the average person they can spot danger. Anyways, I have a generalized anxiety disorder as well, and that might be part of the reason why I spot so many problems, but I turn to substance abuse, which then, as you know, for addicts and alcoholics, it causes even more problems. And the part the, the part of this that I think makes a lot of people depressed is because I talk to you guys all the time about how, you know, in order to kind of, you know, work on our depression, we need to feel connected. But it's hard to be connected with other people when your ego is inflating you and you constantly think that you're just smarter than everybody else. How could I possibly hang out with you simpletons if I'm just smarter than all of you, right? So I felt like alone in my, ungodly genius, you know what I'm saying? So my brain and my ego and my intelligence was separating me from everybody else. But the fact was, the fact was that other people were a whole lot happier than I was and they weren't turning to drugs and alcohol in order to numb the pain, right? So they had figured something out uh, that I hadn't, right? And this is why, like, I don't even like talking about intelligence. I don't even like talking about IQ because, like, we're talking about in this video, some of the most intelligent people can be the most miserable people. I am a fan of EQ, okay? Emotional intelligence, all right? I would take emotional intelligence any day over IQ. You know what I mean? But anyways, when it was time to get better, to get well, to start improving my mental health, to you know try to beat my addiction and in turn save my life, I remember just thinking nobody can help me. Nobody can help me. Like how are you supposed to help me? How is anybody supposed to help me or give me advice when at any given moment I'm the smartest person in the room, you can't tell me or teach me anything, right? And I'll never forget this. I'll never forget this. And although it was said in a room of a 12 step meeting, I want you to see how this might relate to your life. Are you ready? I heard someone say, there is nobody too stupid to get this program, but there's a lot of people too smart, right? Like think about that. Do you think, do you think that maybe, maybe your intelligence, your overanalyzing everything is holding you back? Like that was my issue. Even to this day, it can be an issue. Like I'm the type of person where I want facts and I want studies. Like that's why I talk about study and science and neuroscience all the time. Like it took me years to quit being a stubborn a-hole and try meditating because I needed science to back it. But when I had that gift of desperation and I was ready to improve my mental health, I just stopped asking why. I quit asking so many damn questions. I just had to have what people might call a little bit of faith. I just knew that these people were happier than I was and maybe, just maybe, they had a solution for me, right? So I just shut up for a little while, okay? I had to humble myself and just say, you teach me. You teach me, right? Because they had something that I wanted, right? And slowly but surely, my life got better. Now, I didn't just dumb myself down, like I still overanalyze everything. I read books and studies and I'm a big nerd about all sorts of stuff, right? But at a certain point, I just have to humble myself. And a lot of this comes in the form of reaching out and asking people for advice, reaching out and asking people for suggestions and support. Because a lot of people who are too intelligent don't do this. Why, like the idea is why would I reach out and ask anybody for support when I am clearly smarter than they were, right? Like I remember when I first got clean six and a half years ago, I remember meeting homeless people who were way, 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 way happier than I was, right? And like, I'm sitting there, I'm like, what? Like, I am doing something wrong, right? So I want you to sit there and ask yourself, 
Is, is your belief that you are just the most intelligent person and your ego, is that holding your mental health back? Because that doesn't have to be the case, okay? We have to humble ourselves, ask for help, and know, like, even though somebody might not know as much as you in the thing that you are just extremely intelligent in, maybe somebody else knows something more than you in that aspect of their life. Like, I had to take a strength finder test for work a couple years ago, and, my, my biggest strength was being a learner and I was just absolutely fascinated by that because for many years it would have been something else because I thought you can't teach me anything. I am capped out at my knowledge. I can't learn anything. Now I just love learning and I know I will never, ever, ever, ever in a million years know everything and it's actually exciting because every day I get to wake up and see what new thing I can learn that can possibly not only improve my mental and emotional well-being, but maybe I could take that information and give it to all of you, which may in turn help you as well, all right? So let's have a conversation down below. Let me know, do you think your intelligence holds your mental health back? Or let me know if I'm alone in this thing, all right? But again, if you need online therapy, like go ahead and check out the affiliate link to BetterHelp down below. If not, and you need therapy, maybe a therapist knows a little bit more about how to live your life than you do, okay? So talk to your doctor, see if they can refer you to anybody. Call your insurance company, see if they can refer you to any therapist. Talk to your friends, family members, see if they have a therapist that they can recommend, all right? Anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to get access to exclusive content, free books, all sorts of stuff, click or tap right there, all right? Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.